Okay, the first thing you're going to need is a Windows 10 PC or laptop. It's going to be have to have Windows 10 1903 or later. Now, right now, an insider that's billed 1899. You're going to need a Bluetooth adapter. And, of course, you're going to need a microphone and some speakers. Your laptop probably has them already built in. And as far as a microphone, if you already have a video camera hooked up to your system, you're good to go. The good news is you have a little bit of time. The new version of Windows is not scheduled to be released until early November. So you have a little time left to get your Bluetooth adapter, to get it installed, uh, install the, your phone app, and get your phone and your system working together for the currently installed features so you'll be ready for this new one. So just go out to the store and search for your phone. You'll find the app there. Click on install. It'll eventually come back and say launch, and you can start up. Now, as far as hardware, if you're on a fairly new laptop, you're probably all right. It probably already has built-in Bluetooth that's compatible. If you're on a desktop that doesn't have Bluetooth, you need to go get yourself an adapter. And I have some links to some here in the video, the one I used. So once you've plugged that in, you should be able to go to your device manager and uh, click on Bluetooth, and you see it should have installed, and everything's ready on the desktop side. The smartphone side, right now you need an Android phone 7.0 or later, and you want to install the My Phone Companion app uh, from the Google Play Store. So once you have both those installed uh, and go through all the verification process between those for their normal operation, you'll be able to launch the Your Phone app on your PC. So what you should see is the normal stuff, photos, uh, messages, uh, notifications, all those are already were working before the new version. Now as of this video, the phone mirroring doesn't work. You need a very specialized Bluetooth adapter. The one that's in this video is not the one that you need for that. So when you first launch the uh, Your Phone app after you've done all these other installations and the Bluetooth working, it's going to prompt you for this. It's going to say, make and receive calls from your PC. And all you got to do is click on Get Started. Now, if you didn't get your Bluetooth adapter and they're working properly, it's going to say it won't work with your PC. Or you bought one that's not compatible. I didn't have mine plugged in at the time just to be so we could see this screen. But now I'm going to plug it in and I'm going to try it again. I'll just close the application down, relaunch it with the adapter, and we should see some good results. Uh, getting things ready. No error message, and let's see what happens. Now, it may during this give you a little warning about uh, you may have to turn on your Bluetooth or whatever. Uh, but just go ahead and click on the setup here. And eventually, it should prompt you to tell you that you need to get permissions to talk to each other. Uh, so once it comes up, well, it's telling me here now that it still needs some permissions. So it tried to tell my phone to give me a prompt to give permissions. So I go look at my phone, and by the way, I have Windows tiles on my phone. That's why it looks like this. But there it is. There's the prompt that asks me to allow permissions uh, to do that. So back to the PC. It's still getting setting up. Uh, now that I get permissions, they, the two should connect fine. Now this can take a very long time. As a matter of fact, mine timed out. So I tried again, and it still didn't work. So basically, uh, I gave up. I want to close the app. Now, you might have to close the app. You may have to reboot, whatever. I'm not sure what, if, what my error was or what your error might be. But in my case, I closed the app and relaunched it and let it go through this entire process again of getting things ready. And eventually, it took it a bit uh, after it timed out again. And I clicked on setup and boom, it connected to my device. And I said, yes, I want to pair uh, with my phone. So once it finished setting that up after I clicked on yes, uh, and said, okay, we're good. The only problem is that I had what's called focus assist on. I had notifications turned off on my PC, and it recognized it. As a matter of fact, it said, hey, go turn off focus assist. So I did this. I went over here and went down to focus assist and found it and clicked that until it was turned off. Oop, one more time. Now it's off. So now the PC came up and went up. There it is. Now that the two devices made the connection, I needed to give it permissions to use the information. So when I did that, again, I got another uh, prompt saying, hey, allow the phone to uh, connect. I said yes. And as soon as I did that, 
boom, everything populated, my call history, uh, everything looking, looking very nicely uh, integrated. Besides the call history, I have uh, the contact information up here. I have a physical dialer or a virtual dialer down here. Okay, now that it's all set up, let's try making a call. Now, if you notice, I've typed in the top right-hand corner. I've started typing some characters in and immediately pulled in my contacts list that matched that particular typing. And once I typed in enough characters to get a discrete list, you can see that it had two entries for the same organization, just was the mobile and one was the business. So you can easily identify uh, which phone number you want to call. A great, great feature. So not only can you use your contacts to call, but you can use your recent call history. I just click on an entry that was there, it populates it, the button comes up, uh, and you can call. And you can just do that for any of your history. So you can call with your contacts, you can call off your call history. How about just using your dial pad? Sure enough, you just, uh, oop, you just type in numbers here, and you just type in whatever number you want to call. And once you've got that done, you simply uh, press the same green button uh, to make your call. So now that I've got that done, let me go ahead and make a call here. Uh, and click on the button and see what happens on the interface. So when I click on uh, the button, a small little window pops up, up in the top right hand corner. And there's the call progress, which means you can minimize your app by doing something else, but this will stay on top so you can control your call. So uh, when I'm done, all I have to do is uh, to hang up, is click on the hang up button. Now as easy as it was to make a call, it's even easier to receive one. So I'm going to make a call from uh, my home phone into the app itself. And let's see what happens. Oh, there it is in the bottom right-hand corner. And you can either ignore or accept. And once I accept, the same interface comes up top. So that, again, you can go do other work while you're on the phone up here. Uh, you can do the other things until you're ready to hang up. And as you can see, once you hang up, it's added into your call history, ready for the next call. So what's happening on the Android screen? Well, I just happened to get a spam call in. You see that the answer button has a Bluetooth icon. So if your phone's still within range of your PC and you're still connected, you can answer it just by pressing on that. So there you have it, the new call from your PC or laptop functionality, courtesy of the Your Phone app. Hey, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like this video. And if you want to get more, just subscribe to Old Guy Geek. You can also follow me at Facebook or Twitter. The links to those are in the description of this video.